You're listening to the voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. Welcome to Around the United Nations Trash Talk Edition. With me in studios, welcome back, Commissioner Scott Anderson. Commissioner, welcome back. Hey, thanks. We had our bathroom break. We replenished our beverages and we're ready for uh, talk some trash talk. It, you, you, we can't even, you know what, at this point, uh, why don't you just cue up uh, the theme song to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? Because okay. at, at at this point, we're we're in that kind of a state here in the in the UNL. Because everybody's buddies right now, you know. After the kind of uh, Escalade we had with uh, Quick Kill and the Dead Rabbits, uh, Bill the Butcher and uh, Walter Monk, you know, took everybody through this, you know, roller coaster ride, you know, disguising themselves as the Mass Men. And uh, just, yeah, I mean, just, uh, well, actually, you know, Walter the Monk, you know, actually disguised himself as right. the mas- masked man and, uh, you know, pretty much gave Ezekiel, uh, you know, you know, nice, uh, a nice treat. And, uh, you know, then Ezekiel, after getting treated, you know, to tasting the floor and getting suplex and, you know, getting thrown out of a car and, pfft, Everything else that he endured, you know, then, then Ezekiel walks. Walks. I mean, this guy, like Jesus Christ, you know, walks. He just, like, what the God? This is like, what? What's going on here, Commissioner? What kind of contract did you sign with this, you know, guy? I mean, oh my goodness! But everybody, a very ironclad one. Yeah, but everybody's happy. We're all good. You know, we, we, we got rid of that past Rick Rancher, you know, no, no more, it's no true. more CC's, you know, you know we yeah. don't have to deal with, uh, ugly CC DeVille's hair, we, you know, it, it's all good. It, it, Commissioner, no, 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 it's all good in the neighborhood. It's all good. Jacob Vandenberg is on top of the world. The women are happy. We got TVB winning gold. You know, our Deco's happy, you know, now all fashionable man. Uh, Hey, you know, we got Naul, we got Valen, everybody's, you know, we got the, you know, I don't think Valen's ever happy. I, (laughs) well, hey, you know, but there's always, you know, content. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I was gonna say, say, like, I think he he peeks out at content. There we go, yeah, but then we got a cameo by one of the, you know, greatest tag teams in the IWA. We have, you know, Black Mask cameoing here, and then all of a sudden they lose. I I want to I want to come out and state that I think you know at this point, sir, we're looking. They've been in the league almost a year now. So oh, you think you think I, they're here? They think they're here for the for the long run, huh? Well, I certainly hope so. Nice. I, I, hey, I, we, dude, if we could keep competition like that here steady, that would be amazing. I mean, but yeah. um, I mean, they they have their goals. They set out to you know accomplish what right. they did. So we're hoping right. that. You know, well, I certainly hoping... hope they don't tuck tail and run now. Well, hey, hey I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying they are, but you know, they, they, uh, the, the hitman, Barshan, you know, Belgium and uh, De Boston, you know, we, we know, I, we think that they had the edge on Black Mass in terms of the overall tag team because they were just, no. you know, they, they had the, the numbers. The numbers don't lie, numbers and don't you know, lie. we, we keep, we keep good numbers around I here, you know. Her. So, and, and again, uh, you know, so trash talk wise, you know, here we are, everybody's happy, everybody's good, you know, you know, no, uh, no one's kind of fussing, you know, I mean, other than, other than the rookies, we have some, some loud rookies. I mean, Skullfire yeah, and, I mean, uh, Cycle know, Bolt are a little, yeah. little rough, rough on the edges. Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of calling out, but there's not a lot, you know, like I don't see a lot of sneak attacks. I don't see a lot of, you know beating people up right now you know i think coming out of world warfare you know and all the major feuds we had um you know people are kind of resetting i i mean we have those uh those cowards those uh uh chicken you know 106 107 yeah they want they wanted a two two versus one versus humongous right, you know thankfully right. thankfully solomon you know is a little more you know reasonable and competitive we're like hey you know what Bring Redwood, but let, let's even the score, you know. And Solomon's pretty damn, you know, big himself. So I think I think that, 
Yeah, you know? absolutely. I think he could give uh, Humongous a run for his money. You yeah, know? it, sh- it should be good. Should be a good show. So it's yeah, interesting to absolutely. see that match at the at the Rumble. But um, I, I still want to see someone like uh, like the American Pride, uh, uh, Jack Edison. Uh, you know, get into the mix here at the Rumble. You know, absolutely. I great to great to see uh, you know the open challenge from Philippe Rousseau. I mean, yes. uh, I, like I said, having them back, you know, in our in our you know in our locker room is amazing. You know, just to have talent like that, like I said, is just is what makes the UNL special. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, uh, and we may have had somebody answer that open challenge. Oh, nice. So we're well. Nothing is set in stone yet, so we'll we'll see. You know, we're not we're not releasing that to the public yet. Nice. Now, like, like I said, I uh, you know glad to see some of the new newcomers. I I, I know I uh, I tease about uh, anger and uh, spite, but you know, yeah, gl- you know, glad to see them in the mix and uh, and 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 right into the mix. You know, like I said, yeah. them and uh, Psycho Bolt, and uh, we got to give them a tag team name. And I, and I don't want to get started with uh, giving everybody a a tag team name, but if they're going to be pairing up, you know, it'd be nice to you know be able to. Yeah. No, I I think no, I'm a fan of tag team names. Huh. Okay, so um now um speaking of uh what, what what's now what now what was uh now what was the one that that's a little tempered, right? He's more uh, temp- more, more tempered than Valen? I are are you saying more calm or more like angry? More angry. No, I'd say Valen's more angry. Valen is more angry. Yeah. Valen's the one that doesn't like Felicia. Valen's Correct. Mr. 24, 24-7. Yeah. Mr. Leave Correct. Me Alone. Uh, Naul is more a respectful, proud warrior. Mr. Warrior. Yeah. He wants the big fight. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just you know. I, I know he's a... Mr. 24-7. I, I, I know Naul is a member of uh, the Boys Are Back in Town, but I was just... I was thinking if something would come to mind for uh, 500 and Naul. Because these are 500 and Naul, the current champions? Yeah, they just won the uh, they just won the world tag titles. Yeah, so nice. you know now Wool is now a three time world tag champion. He won it twice with uh, the Hitman, and now he's won it with uh, with McFleece. So. Call it what you will. In 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 different places, you know, he would be known as a slut, but. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner, uh-huh. how many beer, how many beers have you had? <laughs> now that we now that we've determined Naul's, uh, oh, shout out to Naul for say, getting it done with multiple partners. <laughs> I would say he works well with others. Yeah, they, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, equal opportunities. There we go. Shout shout out, Mister Naul, getting it done. But now, uh, what what's that? What's up with Naul? He, him too. There, everybody's in the neighborhood. Everybody's having a good old well, time. I it? mean, Naul hurt his neck. So, you know, so he's been on the shelf, you take, you know, trying to get back in the swing, trying to get cleared for the rumble. So, you know, I always, I always warn people when they're watching night at the Roxbury. Right. You can't, right. You got to be careful how, uh, how intense you tilt your head. Yep. Got to, got to go, got to, you know, take it easy at first. Yeah. Right. Those guys are gotta professionals. Work <laughs> They're professionals. <laughs> oh, poor Noel. Oh man. But, but uh, you okay. know, so Noel's in recovery. Valen is. Uh, uh, what's up with Valen? Valen was. Uh, well, Valen was uh, forming a new uh, team to go after the world tag titles with uh, Archie, but unfortunately, um, the Joneses. At least for a for the temporary time being, uh, are gonna have to be on hiatus. So uh, we wish them well. We hope to see them back as soon as possible. But in these, you know, uncertain days, certainly I understand that uh, some managers have other things going on in their life. So oh yeah, T T C O B taking care of so, business. Baby. Um, Valen Valen will be uh, looking for something new, so we'll see that this cycle. Well, well, you know what? L- let's say it like it is, Commissioner. We got we got the good old boys 
and I'm talking about the boys. You know, you know which boys, the ones that are back in town. Okay. And we got all these newcomers that have all of a sudden decided to like, to to just you know. Be all happy go lucky. I mean, I was never expecting Ezekiel Crane and all the Ezekiel, you know, Crane associates to just tag up, especially not with Walter and, and Bill and the gang. I mean, the that... addition of, of the dead rabbits to uh, Ezekiel Crane's uh, stable is dangerous dangerous John, for everyone jaw dropping and and we we talked earlier and we mentioned you know we mentioned black mass and we mentioned you know you know redwood and you know you got you got others like excavadora and now the you know the addition of you know the the demons of rage you know so you got other newcomers that have come onto the scene that maybe forced the dead rabbits you know i mean the dead rabbits are an amazing talent i mean but right we've right. noticed the the beginning of this year that all of a sudden this new addition of talent has forced the likes of cutting and monk out of out of the the title picture yeah not to say that they're that they're not elite but or right. or maybe no you know, but I, yeah it's awesome. i don't think it has anything to do with them not being top level talent i think it has everything to do with the amount of new talent that has come in even in the last five cycles you know because oh, yeah. you know i think about say like the influx of players we got last year um with you know the 2019 class of uh the joneses Mershans, uh black mass you know they they came in in 2019 and really, you know, made their mark. And now we're seeing kind of uh, the, you know, the class of 2020 um, yeah. come in and put a, put a stamp. And I, I would not be surprised if part of that is, is what motivated the dead rabbits to work out this unholy alliance with one Ezekiel Crane. Oh yeah, no, and and uh, you know, shout out to you know, I mean, we mentioned them last cycle as well. You know, uh, he, you know, he, he put his uh, accolades uh, on display this cycle. You know, uh, you know, because the the double Dutch you know family is continuing to win. You know, uh, he, you know, we mentioned them staying you know out of the dirt and staying kind of virtually clean from above uh, the fray. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. and you know, shout out to them because they continue to win. Jacob brought home you know bunch of gold this cycle as well and uh just you know just one of those just one of those things that uh you know c continues to astonish us here in uh in the unl and uh yeah. just want to make sure they uh they don't stir stir the wrong uh <laughs> stir up the wrong street you know stir okay. the wrong pink drink but uh. you know what i'm thinking about right now you know that line from uh the dark knight with harvey dent you know where you you die the hero or you live to see yourself become the villain. Yes. I think maybe that uh, Double Dutch is going to die a hero. Uh-oh. Because you can't win that much and not become a target. Oh, I, I, I agree. I, I, I had them on my radar last cycle. I was like, wait a minute. These guys just continue to win, but yeah. no one, no one is. Uh, and I don't think people are afraid of them. It's just, you know, they're so focused that, you know, the even if people target them, I don't, I, I think they're just going to focus on the gold, that, you know, and you know, let's hope, let's hope people don't take it to the to the extremes and go, you know, go too you know, far. Yeah, I mean, and I said with the likes of Ezekiel Crane and uh, and, and some of the others around here, I mean, you know, we we never know. Could get ugly. I mean, look, look at the. I mean, for crying out loud, what's that? Uh, uh, the 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 Mad Mauler, the 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 Mongolian brawler, the the new kid that yeah. showed up. Yeah, the <laughs> Mongrovian. Until somebody corrects me, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Mongrovian. You think that's in Tennessee? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, man. <laughs> Are you from Tennessee? Cause, yeah. Because you're the only 10 I see. Woo! <laughs> oh, nice. Let I'll me buy this round. Cheers. cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, brother. Oh, man. I'm telling you, Commissioner. <laughs> Oh. I, I know the L and L is after hours, but I feel like we're in. <laughs> I feel like oh we're yeah, we after hours right now. Oh yeah, we're 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 right around the Cinderella hour. So, oh man, but the UNL is awesome, Commission. I I like I tell you, brother. I mean, it is definitely uh, like I said, the the action just keeps going. Like I said, I'm. It's a scary time. This is like the eerie calm before the storm because. Yeah. I'm I'm afraid to see what comes next because I know something's around the corner. Uh, for crying out loud, there was an announcement for it in 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 this uh, cycle's bulletin. So something's near. Some yeah, someone is is on their way. Yeah. So. Oh man! Now, uh, shout out to the Diamond District. I know. Uh, I thought I thought you were gonna bring it home, Diamond District. I really did. I mean, I you know, but when you got a witch like you know, like the Sadaku in the LNL, you know, cursing you, you know, putting you into tongues. Right. Can't do anything about that, brother. So better no, luck next time. No, no shame in losing to Sadako. No. for sure. Oh man, and um, now um, we mentioned. Uh, Crane and uh, you know we mentioned the associates, uh, but one of his a set of his associates actually departed, right? Which associates are you referring to? Um, wasn't uh, Sabo and uh, them running with them, or, or or were they pretty separated from Ezekiel? Um, no, I think they were together. So Sabo and uh, Jan Greycrow. Jan Greycrow was definitely, because he and uh, Solomon Ying were former world tag champions. Yeah, so they, 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 what's that saying? If you, uh, if you play near the barn, you're, you're, you're bound to smell? Or No? <laughs> How horrible was sayings? I'm sorry. Can we see you? Like, <laughs> like, what side of town are you from? <laughs> I'm like, that's, I that's something we say here in Kenner's. Kenner's. Tenor C. Here's what it would say. <laughs> oh, oh, brother, I feel I feel like Rocky Balboa right now. I think we're getting a little punchy. Oh, um, man. Boom. Ten, tenor C. That's not something they were saying. Tenor C. Oh man, you city folk, you city folk. <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, so uh, we do see um, Jake Sabo had. Uh, a mysterious phone call a couple cycles ago and abruptly left the UNL right after his uh, buried alive match with uh, Excavadora, which also speaking about feuds that concluded, right? Like, well, or we thought concluded uh, that was a heavy, heavy pay or pay-per-view match, you know, feud that we had at the end of 2019. So, um, but Excavadora wanted another crack at Jake Sabo. And so uh, the UNL office is currently in discussions with possibly um, having Jake Sabo appear at the Rumble. Ooh, unsanctioned. I love it. Yeah, so we will see if maybe we can get that worked out. Give Excavadora it... his chance uh, at redemption. You know what? Leave it to, to Donald Henryson or Henry Donaldson to, to you know— just you know, um, give, give. Is he no longer his manager, sir? I don't mean to call you out, but yeah, Excavadora beat the crap out of him. He buried him. Uh, oh, he beat him up. Oh, <laughs> him up dude. oh man! Yeah. How could you beat up someone that that talented, that that amazing? Well, I was say frail. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was such a good talking piece for him. My goodness. Yeah. You know what? I gotta stop drinking. Before before the pay per view shows, I really do. This is no, man. I, this is... I I think you are mistaken, sir. Oh man. For well, anyways, you know, Excavadori yeah. has made a great name for himself, regardless of Henry uh, 
Donaldson or as not. As quickly, yeah, as quickly as he came, we have now lost one of the UNL's greatest all-time managers. But that's why you know what? That's why that's why you know Art Deco <sighs> sticks out in in the bunch because Art Deco endures everything and more. I mean, yes, Art Deco endures. You're right. Anyone anyone that can spend that much time in the locker room with flexing Vladimir without gagging. Are we still recording? Yes. I oh, hope so. Oh, I don't know. Are we? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're dead now, Commissioner. Did we stop recording? No, we're good. We're good. But, okay. you know, when flexing, but when flexing Vladimir hears this, we're dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, oh, no. Oh, oh man. brother. I hope it's everyone's all, enjoying all, the show as much as we are. It's all those enchiladas. It's all those dang enchiladas that, you know. God bless Lexi Vladimir and the love for enchiladas. Yes. Okay. Oh man. We all have our temptations. Now, um, we we already mentioned uh, uh Philippe Rousseau's uh, open challenge. Did we get anything from uh, his partner in crime? Uh, unfortunately, they were inactive this cycle. Oh, so. Okay. Um, but the, he sent out that open challenge last cycle. Uh, so that is, uh, as of now, signed for the pay-per-view. We will have uh, someone accepting that. I'm not ready, obviously, to announce who that is. But we will have a, a match with Philippe Russo in an open challenge. Nice. Oh, man. Now, um... Other than uh, uh, what was his name? The, the the two new kids that came in, um, Ford uh, Rucker. Yeah, Ford Rucker and uh, what's his what's his buddy's and name? Mongovian Brawler. Oh, okay, okay. So that's they're the, the mem- they're members of God, sir, but not who's... the Gorillas of Destiny. No, no, no. The other who's the other new kid? Uh, cold-blooded, uh, mongrel, oh. mo- mongrel, uh, cheese-eating. What the hell is his name? You, uh, cold-blooded murder, Damian Hendricks. D- Hendricks. That Who you I know what I was like. Any relation to Jimmy? Right. See, and and that's what I, I knew. He had a famous last name, and I was like, I go, why don't? Why can't I remember this kid's name? Did he? Did he bring a buddy? Did did. Uh, I don't know, but I think that maybe he and uh, Ezekiel Crane will get along, right? Purple Haze? Hey, maybe. Hey. Oh, oh, here anyway. we go. But, uh, Pando- Pandora's, no, uh, Pandora's Blood, Demia Doom. Yes, uh, from the United Kingdom. Uh, so I don't know if you got the chance to see uh, Damien in his first cycle of action, but he is... A scary looking massive uh, competitor. So I think we are all in for uh, some rough days ahead. All right, all right. His- history, history here. Re- ready, ready. Uh, uh, is she is she the first lady of the UNL? Uh, she is not. Uh, oh. Anne Spivey uh, was a part of the UNL uh, starting in cycle one. So Ann Spivey oh, was man. almost the very first United Nations champion as well. Hmm. And um, we were well, she can... with Ann Spivey for uh, 20, 20-ish cycles, between 20 and 30 cycles. Nice. Well, you know what? She can be the first lady of this decade. Correct. Nice. Correct. There we go. You're first. You're first in our books. Yes. Always first in our hearts. There we go. So welcome, welcome to the show. Yeah, like I said, I, I saw the names on there. I was like, I go, we definitely, uh, um, definitely got to figure this one out because, see, that's another bunch. I mean, I, I mean, you get you get a new a new talent into the mix that is just ready to shine. And uh, I mean, here in the UNL, what better place? I mean. I, I, I still say it. I mean, yeah, here in the bronze, I mean, with all the deals with the, I mean, the, the tournaments commissioner, I mean, if you want to prove you're elite, if you want to prove you're the best, I mean, 
And as a matter of fact, those tournaments happen automatically. It's not even something that you got to like, you know, sign. you just got to pay attention to them and, and watch, watch yep, who wins, just, watch, you know, yep. again, shout out to Jacob, game. shout out to Jacob for, uh, putting it down this, uh, this tournament year. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's good to get in the mix, you know, win a couple free matches, be a part of the gauntlet. If you win a global tournament, you uh, gain entry into the gauntlet where you win uh, all the matches that I managed to bank for the year. Uh, and the big prize, I think, for winning the gauntlet is getting an opportunity at the United Nations uh, title. Now, now I know I know this isn't the commissioner show, but random uh, random question: Is there a is there a set deadline to like when you finalize the the pay per view? Like after a certain uh, day that you're like, I'm not accepting any more matches. Everything's finalized. Are you talking about in general or for the gauntlet? For the rumble. For the rumble. Okay. Uh, yes. Entry into the rumble match itself. Uh, needs to happen by this cycle. So I would say by, um, you know, the end of next week, you know, so bronze runs on Tuesday. I need to have it, I would say, no later than Friday uh, if you're going to be in the Rumble. And then, uh, but as far as having a match at the pay-per-view, I will take those matches after this cycle for sure. Um, You know, obviously the pay-per-view is the cycle after this one. So if you want on the show, we need to get moving on that. Uh, but I'm no, I'm, I'm generally, I'll add a match as late as I need to. And, uh, it's, just, it's a good match and we can put it on. Let's do it. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there because, uh, like I said, I know with, uh, you know, times, uh, times are changing. So right. Right. Just, uh, just make sure you double check with Kim. I, I know I sent them an email and, uh, you know, just make sure you confirm and make sure you're in that, uh, you know, make sure they confirm with you, just like the oh, your matches. Right, right. Um, I do, yeah, because it sounds like I may not be getting everyone's entry into the Rumble match, and there's no cost. You know, it's just the 75000 75, in iCash. So if, uh, if for whatever reason, uh, you check the, the post I'm going to put up and you're not on there, uh, and you have asked the IWA already to take your 75, uh, just let me know. And so then I can get you added in. Uh, yeah, that will definitely like, you know, we'll take care of, I'm, I'm not going to exclude somebody because, you know, I didn't get a notification or something. That would be, that would be silly on my part. That's that, that, that's good to know. It's good to know that, uh, yeah. but, um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure everybody got their got their rumble entries and you know knew when the last time because I know there's new people that just just came in so, and you know they might not have seventy five thousand. Oh, they may have to they... wait till next year. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Well, I do not. I, I don't have it in front of me, but they may get it before the end of the. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, that would be great. I don't, you know, like I want as many people as we can get. So. Yes, sir, Bob. Just don't go retire like. Uh, just don't go retire like quick. Uh, like, uh, oh yeah, they got they got the seventy five. On Jaren Spite, well over it. Who? Uh, on Jer- Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and. Uh... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Everybody! Everybody! I think the only two that are under seventy five right now are uh, the the. A four mentioned two brand new characters that just joined. Oh yeah, side. yeah, no, 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 yeah. No, every, yeah. everybody else, I think, is is over the seventy five. I think everyone else, yeah, everyone should be safe. Yeah. All righty, commissioner. Commissioner, is there anybody else we're missing? What What, what else did we? Uh, well, let's. Uh, did, we, I, talked, I, I, we talked about our our good buddy Ezekiel Crane. Uh, he and the Dead Rabbits are a. Hugely deadly combo. Uh, Solomon uh, Ying and and the associates I have set out a challenge to face Black Mass and Rex Redwood. 
<clears throat> since the commissioner wouldn't give us our two for one, but it's okay. Correct, correct. It's, it's okay. Um, I think we did talk uh, about Skullfire and Psycho Bolt in their series uh, against uh, the Demons of Rage, which is now tied at one apiece. Oh, nice. Um, we did not, however, I, I, I bet you deliberately left this one off. Uh, but Akbar. <gasps> Uh, was given uh, Mr. Mungus the business here, as they say, um, in a real history lesson in terms of how vital and renowned Akbar has been uh, since the inception of the UNL. But he also mentions that, you know, they have a little business with the uh, Marchands at the rumble first, but now, now it was, it was CC that had the Can-Am run, right? Not Akbar. It was, uh, Akbar oh, okay. though, won the very first globals gauntlet match. Yeah, but he wasn't the and... Can-Am champion like CC. So, well, no, he's an international character. Ah, uh, see what I did there. Um, ah, but that's but... why he, you know what, you know what? Now I know why he got rid of CC. He couldn't but, take the. He couldn't no. take him, just overshadowing him. Ooh, makes sense. But Akbar has been um, in the forefront of those titles. He's challenged for the uh, United Nations title. He's challenged for the uh, international title. He's been league champion. Um, you know, he is. He is not someone to easily dismiss. So. It sounds like we may eventually have a, a come to Jesus moment between Akbar and Humongous, which I would pay to see that match. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd pay, you know, big bucks to see Humongous just. Did I? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, it's over. Hey. Well, you know what? Somebody, somebody, you know, put down the name of a good insurance. <laughs> Oh man, my goodness! Yeah, I would. Yeah, that would be a good. I playing would, with fire, my man. I would. I would pay to see that one at uh, at Global's Greatest. At, at, at yeah, yeah, that would be amazing. Akbar and his final day. Oh, dude, Commissioner, we're. Oh my goodness. Oh. But uh, <sighs> you know. People, uh, oh, but also, um, were you going to say that he gets a free tombstone since it happens around October? No. Oh, um, dude, no, we're not. No. Like no. Um, the IWA accidentally oh. left out uh, Aaron McFleece's trash talk. Uh, so it's not, it, I think it is added now to the online bulletin. Are you looking at the online bulletin? I don't know. Or you download it, right? I download it. Yeah. Okay. So it should be added to both the bulletin, but uh, but he also the manager also uh, posted it on the UNL board. So if you know, obviously, as trash talker of the year for 2019, I would highly recommend you know taking him a couple minutes and checking that out, uh, reading what he had to say. Nice. Yeah, we, we already mentioned TPB and how uh, he called his shot, that son of a... Hey, oh. when, when you're as good as, you know, Double Dutch, you can pretty much call your shot every time, I guess. Now, do you, think so... he has, do you think he has a windmill tattooed? I would not be surprised. Nice. Um, <laughs> but, um, so just to, you know, give everybody a little taste of the uh, McFleece and Tembatsu uh, trash talk, we know that they have been at odds with each other for the better part of a year and a half. And yet we see... 
the possibility that they are going to uh, work together, oh. recognizing what we were talking about and how the UNL has become quite, uh, as they put it, faction based. You know, we have Ezekiel and his crew. Uh, you know, we've got the the Black Mass. We had uh, you know a lot of tag teams. And so you kind of can't do it all on your own now. Yeah, I mean, I, I was I was actually uh, expecting that a lot sooner, but yeah, I mean, I, I would never expect. I mean, they've had their differences. Let's say it like that. So yep. it's it's pretty violently, <laughs> right? So it's kind of uh, 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 better the the better of uh, of. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, the both evils, or, or the the better of uh, what, what, are they, what the, is that? The lesser saying? of two evils. There you go. The lesser of yeah. two evils. Well, so. and it's and I also I think of the lesser of two evils, but also the devil you know. There you right? go. Okay. So even That's though good. McFleece and Tembatsu may never be friends again, right? It's like you can it. You're teaming up with someone familiar, right? They know how to work together because they did it. Right. So even though it'll never be the same, you know, they can kind of make sure that uh, they're not left out all by themselves. Oh yeah. No. And it's, it's healthy to have somebody that you, you know, like you said, that you've worked with or that, you know, from the industry or from, you know, you know, from your time in, in a certain league. Right. Because, you know, the, the way I think of the IWA, you know, as a, like you get these people that come from other promotions and you're like, uh, do you know what? The, the, there's a big storm of new new booties, you know, so let's let's work to let's work together and, uh, you know, stay competitive and stay relevant, you know, because if not, you know, this new generation is going to drive us out. Yeah. So you got to you got to pick it up, match the uh, match the energy. So. And and who better to unite with? I mean, you got Canyon. Canyon. <laughs> Never mind. It's all right. <laughs> okay. What? There... How many? How, how many have you had? Oh, I need you catching them quick. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, uh. So yeah. So who better than than Timbatsu? You know. I mean, I would I would take Timbatsu in my corner. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I mean, and McFleece, uh, he seems pretty set that he is going to retire at the end of 2020. So you know, he wants to go out on top, and it's going to be hard to beat his amazing 2019 year. But you know, I I believe he can do it. So you you know what? A, a lot of athletes are doing that throughout sports. I mean, I know right now we're in a time where sports are at a halt, but a lot of athletes are doing their like retirement tour so it, it's nice to see someone think ahead like uh like a mcfleece so so that fans wherever he goes can you know bid their farewell get that final yeah. picture of him in the ring so right yep yep, you know. yep and you know i have only got this to say to that this one's for you mcfleece cheers cheers to that you know i mean for someone that well, kicked the living kicked the living doo-doo out of uh rick pooper i mean yeah. it just yeah, yeah, send him packing. Send the pooper. Send him out of here. Got him. You know he got. Him. Yeah. He he said it himself. If I can't beat this man, I'm done. So all right. And, uh, you know. If we missed anybody, sorry. Let us know. Um. But uh, I think that about sums it up for this one. Oh yeah. One last beer for uh, or or, or one last beer for uh, McFleece uh, and Rancher. You just yes. get the, you know, you just get the 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 corner at the end. Ah, you get the corner at the end. <laughs> oh, save all your cans. We're gonna pour them on Rick Rancher's uh, retirement. Tombstone. Uh, yeah, his tombstone. Oh. He died. I think he just retired. No. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're signing, we're signing up. We're already killing poor poor Rancher, man. I just. Yeah, I just called him the pooper, you know, poor guy. All right, guys, you've been listening to Trash Talk Edition, uh, well, quarantine Trash Talk Edition of uh, the United Nations League, here with Commissioner uh, Scott Anderson and myself, IWA Flip. 
We'll see you guys next time.